I'm Draven. I typically make high gain amp demos here on YouTube, but today we're doing a little something different. I put in the, the community part of YouTube to ask me some questions. And I also uh, posted a story on Instagram so you guys could reach out. So yeah, we have, we have a good couple of questions to go through. So let's get to it. So on YouTube at Dirkhead, we love him. He asked, are you coming out with any new music from Cavity or are there any bands that you recommend? Uh, I will be coming out with some new Cavity music soon. I have like a song and stuff ready to go. I just need to shoot a music video for it. What bands are you listening to right now? Um, I mostly just listen to like a lot of Rob Zombie and like Static X and stuff like that. There is a, a newer band called Omerta, which is really cool. They do some, some wild stuff. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, Darkhead again. What would be the Florida version of a Wendigo? Is it like a giant snapping turtle? I've seen them at night before. They're pretty scary. I'm pretty sure the Florida version of a Wendigo is either me or a skunk ape. Have you tried adding bass 10 or 15 inch speaker or IR to your mix to see what results you get? I did have a 215 Vader cab kind of similar to a lot of Vader stuff. <laughs> Miking it up, it just sounds kind of funny. Uh, but I should definitely try some, some other larger speakers just for fun. Do you prefer real amps or amp sims? And why real amps? Just kidding, why one and not the other? <laughs> I prefer amp sims, obviously. There we go. I got a bunch of questions for what my favorite amp is and stuff like that. Uh, it's such a hard question because like, I feel like every time I try a new amp, I question everything. Um, currently, pretty much anything like modded Marshall kind of thing, like I, I tend to really gravitate towards those. And then pretty much any time I like play my 5150 Stealth or uh, Driftwood Darkest Nightmare, I have a fantastic time. Really enjoy both of those amps. Really? Uh, on Instagram, my wife asks, what flavor fudge are you getting at the fair? It's a really good question. Probably fudge flavor. What are your thoughts on solid state versus tube amps? I think that there's like, there's definitely some cool solid state amps and there's definitely tube amps that are as awful as some solid state amps. Preference. I don't know. I don't know if anybody has asked this, but what was your gateway metal band? Probably Rob Zombie playing like twisted metal and stuff growing up. But then for like heavy, heavy stuff, I think the, one of the first bands that like got me into like heavy, heavy music was like uh, like the uh, original Suicide Silence EP in like 2004 or something like that, or Annotations of an Autopsy. They had a obnoxious album back then. Uh, our friend Yehuda asked, can I pet that dog? Yes, yes you can. Speaking of Yehuda, we're gonna unbox something that he sent us. All right, so, Yehuda has sent us another box. This one had some crazy taping going on. Um, so yeah, I'll open it up and we'll see what's inside. That is a Karsten's Empire. It is the new or newer uh, Karsten's amp. It's supposed to be like higher gain, more modern than the Grace, which is cool. Cable. Do I use a reamp box and which one do you prefer? Yes, I use a reamp box uh, practically every day. 
uh, we'll, we'll go over that now. All right, so for a reamp box, this is the Creation Audio Labs MW1 Studio tool. Um, it has a DI, a DI box built in, and then that has its own preamp built in. It can go into the inputs that don't have preamps built into the Apollo. So that goes out to this boost input, which like, say you're recording something and you want DI and to record the amp, you can use this output for that. And then so you have your balance line out that controls the input into your interface. And on the, the DI box and the output of the DI box for going to an amp, both have attenuation input Z stuff for both, and then also a clean boost. And then on the other side here is where the reamp box is. So this is the output of the reamp box. You can do your impedance here and then your line out from your interface. So yeah, the, the options with this are pretty much endless. You can get a lot done. There's, I think, three different ground switches on the back. So you can get rid of pretty much any noise. Uh, you can flip the phase on pretty much every stage of it. And yeah, a uh, super versatile DI box and reamp box. All right, so I just got this in the mail today. Um, I ordered it like two days ago, and of course Prime is the best, and it got here really fast. So this is a Max Cheer Ultimate Drive. This is the cheapest drive boost pedal that I could find on Amazon and it is so small but yeah got this on Amazon I'll be doing a demo on it super soon <laughs> 